this is V from a Canadian RVer. In this video, what I'll be doing is I'll be doing a complete winterization of my Class A. And there's certain areas that I want to touch on uh, before we started. And just to let you know what equipment I have and will be using. And the areas that we're going to be concentrating on. Of course, one of the areas is the hot water tank, which is right in there. And um, you do want to get that uh, done properly. Then what we have is I have my water bay area, which is uh, sitting right in here. And uh, I want to make sure that I get uh, my pump checked out. I also have a bladder that uh, controls the pressure when, uh, when you're on a pump. And there's my, uh, uh, my cold water storage tank. Uh, I'll be doing that. I've also installed a valve right there that I can drain the tank instead of taking out the um, the fittings that so I'm just by flipping that valve uh, I can start the process of uh, draining that tank but uh, so we'll, we'll come back to that the other area that I want to uh, touch on is right in here we'll walk around and uh, this is my water bay area that uh, we're going to be winterizing taking out that filter and uh, doing everything that we have to do in this area um, and uh, backwashing all the tanks and uh, we'll we'll carry on so let's go look at the equipment that we used so this is the compressor that we're using right there there's all the equipment the gauges in there um, the other parts that we use of course we're going to have uh, some uh, winterproof antifreeze and uh, plumber's antifreeze as it's known this uh, valve this this wrench right here is the one that removes the uh, sacrificing rod which is one and one sixteenth this part I've made up because what this part does is I have a residential fridge so what we're going to do with this is uh, I'll show you when we come back to that um, the other part here is we're going to flush out the hot water tank once we remove the sacrificing plate and again this part here that I've made up again also is for winterizing my uh, residential fridge what this little hack here is it's pretty cool is you hook up this part to the inner in water line system you on this side you put on your your compressor on that valve and then what you do is um, you can if you wanted to if you did not have uh, a pump that that sucks in your antifreeze what you can do is you you fill this tube up with antifreeze and right in there you'll fill that up and then what you'll do is by putting your, your, your compressor at that end, you'll be able to uh, put the, all the pressure back in here and uh, you'll put all the antifreeze that's in there into your water system. Another nice thing to have is a, a little mechanics roll around uh, dolly as uh, you work on uh, the various other parts of the RV, which you have to sit down and make it a lot easier. So these are basically the parts we're gonna use. And so the uh, first thing so that we'll be doing for our winterization start is we're going to be coming over to the hot water tank which is right in here and we're going to be switching over the bypass valve the bypass valve controls the water in water out and the bypass is where you flip over to allow antifreeze or plumber's freeze Here's where I have my bypass valves and I'll show you up in the compartment. You can see the, the cold side, the hot side and the bypass valve that's right in the middle. Kind of hard to see in there, but um, that's where all the valves have to change. So the blue one and the red one has to turn and then the other bypass way up in there has to be turned. So I'm gonna be doing that right now. So now that I've switched over the bypass valve on the heater, the next thing we're going to do is come down here and we're going to remove the sacrificing plate right here the sacrificing rod and uh, that'll allow the water to drain out i'm also going to flip this breather or high pressure valve and allow the water to drain out very quickly so now i'm just going to put the wrench on and uh, remove the Thank you. 
So this is the condition of the rod that uh, I've just pulled out, and you can see that I just replaced it uh, um, about a month, uh, two, about a month and a half ago. I've got a video on that when I rebuilt the whole tank, and I'll link in the description. But that's with the rod, and this is magnesium, so magnesium sacrifices a lot more. And you can just see right there, it started quite uh, sacrificing quite a bit. So water's running out of the tank, and uh, we'll wait till it uh, drains out. And don't forget, you got to turn the tank off to make sure that the water is not hot. What I've done right now, this is where my low point drains are and I've just taken off the, the low point drain point and uh, you should be able to see some water coming out as we open up all the taps inside just to let them drain. And uh, the next thing I'll do is I'll be removing the, the filter. So there we go with all the, the taps opened up. It should be draining a little bit coming out of there and the next thing to do I'm going to walk around to the other part of the coach here and what I'm going to remove is my whole coach filter right here this guy here I'm going to remove that and uh, we'll be able to uh, flood the whole system with antifreeze so what I'm going to do is remove the whole coach filter and get that figured out yeah So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add this little fitting on my uh, city water inline system and this is the actual hose that I've made for controlling the, the pressure off the buyer pump to 30 psi. So first thing I'm going to put on um, the fitting here that allows me to pressurize the whole system. So now I've got my hose on with the regulator on it and it's hooked into the uh, city water system. What I've done is now I've got my Vi Air pump hooked up and you can see there's pressure there. And then on my regulating valve that I control how much pressure goes into the RV because when I pull the trigger on this, you can see the meter, it just goes right up to 150 PSI. But if you look over here on this meter, on my regulator, it's only around 35, just under 40 uh, PSI, which is uh, much safer for the pipes. So I'm gonna hook it up right now and we'll start uh, blowing all the lines out. So what I'm doing right now is just uh, blowing the air all out and the water out of the system. We'll let that run. That's the cold. We'll do the hot. Now we'll move back to the washroom. Do the toilet. We'll do the sink.
That's good. Do the shower. And you can see where there's just, just air pretty well coming out of the system now. Now my fridge, as I've uh, said in many videos, I don't want to put uh, antifreeze, plumber's antifreeze, into the uh, fridge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it on right now. There we go, the fridge just came on. And what we're gonna do is now cause it to start spitting up the water. You can see where it's just now spitting out air. And there's really nothing coming out of it other than air right now. So that's pretty good. It's, it's blown all the water out of the fridge water system. But now I want to do the ice system also. And uh, we'll dump that. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to turn on the ice machine because the ice machine is turned off. So we're going to go to the options. We're going to go down to Let's go down here to, oops, sorry, we just passed it. Ice, where it says ice off, we're gonna hold it. Ice is on. And we're gonna wait till we hear some noise coming out of the ice machine, some, some, some air. Now, let's do it. Uh, to our washer and dryer. So we're gonna turn it on. We're just gonna say uh, hot and cold, and we're going to call it that we want it uh, cycle three, which is regular, and we're gonna say start. And you can hear that it's blowing all the air out of the lines. We're going to switch it over to hot. We're gonna turn it off right now.
that's off. This time I've put it over to hot because I want to blow out the, the hot lines, basically the hot water side. So we're going to turn it on again. I'm going to wait, we're going to start it again. There's everything out of the hot water side. We're going to stop it again. Turn it off. This time go to the cold side. Start it. Turn it on. Start it again. And you can hear that it's just actually blowing all the, wa the water out of the lines. Now, we're still gonna put plumber's antifreeze into this. Hold it. Turn it off. Good, so we're just gonna leave it at that right now until we flood the system with plumber's antifreeze. All right, I've just oh, now blown all the lines out with uh, an air compressor. Now what I'm in the process of doing is I've uh, got my pump and my switchover valve so that actually the pump will now suck out of the um, plumber's antifreeze jug here. So we're ready to turn the pump on and uh, get ready to um, fill the system with uh, plumber's antifreeze. Well, the system is now pressurized with uh, plumber's antifreeze and you can see the bottle has gone down quite a bit. And I have a second bottle, so now the, pr the system is actually pressurized with uh, plumber's antifreeze. And you can see the pinkness just on the other side of the bladder there. So we know that the bladder is full of uh, plumber's antifreeze and that uh, the system is ready to go. So let's just go inside and start flushing the um, system through all the taps. So we're going to do the uh, cold side first on the main kitchen tap until it runs pink. There it goes. Beautiful. So that means the lines are all flushed out with air and now the plumber's antifreeze is in there. We'll do the hot side and the bypass is on so it'll flush the water out. There it is, nice and pink. All right, let's do the, uh, the bathroom. All right, we're doing the hot side. There it is, nice and pink. And we'll close that side down. We'll open up the other side. Air's out of it. Nothing but pink. That's good. Now I'm just going to go outside and check to see how much uh, I've got in my bottle. I'll be checking that now. All right, we did uh, the sink. I've now changed the bottle outside to the, uh, the next full bottle. So it'll give me a lot of uh, uh, solution to put through the system. So now we're going to do the um, one side of the shower. And you can see where it's nice and pink. That's that side. There we are, both sides hot and cold, pouring out pink, and you can see where the color of the line changed a little bit. Now, let's move over to the toilet, and uh, the toilet here, I'm gonna put the lid up, and I'm gonna trigger the uh, foot pedal. And there it is, totally pink, working great. So I'm always gonna leave a little bit of fluid in the toilet because over the winter months, I want the seal to be underwater or not dry out. I also have um, a blue streak dispenser on it right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, put some plumber's antifreeze on that. There's still a little bit of a uh, solution in the bottom of it right there. So I'm gonna put in some plumber's antifreeze for that. All right, let's go back and uh, yeah. we'll do Wash your dryer right now. And uh, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just uh, leave it on both uh, hot and cold. We're gonna turn it on and uh, we're just gonna just do if we're doing a normal uh, wash cycle and this time we want the pink antifreeze to go into the system. <laughs> yep. 
you can hear it now that it's uh, pouring in. And we want it to fill up quite a bit, at least so we can uh, also go through the, the, the pump. And I don't know if you can see that in the camera there, it's just coming up with pink in the unit. There we go. Now it's gonna drain. Perfect. We're just waiting for it to cycle and it should start filling again. I've just turned it over to hot. There it goes again, that's the hot side. And I'll flip it over to cold. Back to the middle. And you can see where it's filling up at the bottom there. And just one more time, we want it. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop it. There it is, stopped. And you can see where the, the fluid is at the bottom of the uh, washer. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, put it over to drain. There's the drain control right there. I'm gonna turn it on again. Well, I can turn it off. That's okay, just to reset the program. I'm gonna power it on again. I've got enough pink fluid down at the bottom. I've got it on drain and I'm gonna say start. There goes all the pink solution out of the bottom. And you can hear it going down the drain. So that's how I winterize my uh, Splendetti. and it's just gonna turn off in a minute here. So what I've done is I've actually flushed it out with air first. The next thing I do is I pump up my plumber's antifreeze and there it is, it's finished. It's already pumped out. I'm gonna turn it off. There it is. The door unlocked and I'm turning the power off. So now it opens up. I've had the pink fluid all down through the bottom. It's gone through the motor system or the pump system that uh, drains the water out and it put it down the drain, which is perfect. So this is now totally winterized and uh, now, ready to go for winter. We have to do uh, also too, do you, you notice my reservoir now all filled with uh, pink solution, which is good. That's what it should be. And uh, I, I've got a, an external shower right there. So we're, we're gonna uh, trigger that to uh, fill up with uh, pink fluid. There we go, the lines turn pink. Take it into that side. Bring up the, the hot side. And you can see where the pink solution's all coming out. We'll turn that off again. And there we go. So the only thing left to do now is the fridge, but I'm gonna do one more step with the fridge just to make sure that all the water is out. So let's carry on and uh, we'll do the fridge next. Where I am right now is this is where my fridge connects to my water system. And it's this line right here. I've also got a valve right here that um, I've turned off. So there's, there's maybe plumber's antifreeze in here, but it doesn't go past into here. And now I'm gonna take this off right here and I'm gonna connect it to my adapter that I made. It's the same fitting right there. And this part here hooks on to my air system. So I'm gonna blow this out a little extra and I'm gonna leave it on for quite a while. And I'm gonna go turn on the ice maker, hoping that we could get the water out of that and it will go into the ice tray, which uh, doesn't matter if it does, that'll be perfect. So anyway, I'm gonna take that off right there and uh, I'll hook up this other piece.
So here I am. I've got the pressure on the uh, buy from the buyer. I've got my regulator that's going on there. And there's my connection that's going up to the fridge. And uh, I'm now going to start the, the air process to uh, blow it out one more time. And I'm going to turn the ice on and just let it sit there to see if we'll blow out the, um, the water from the ice maker. So I've turned my fridge back on and, and I've got the, um, the compressor running right now. And what we're going to do is just blow it out some more. I've turned the ice on. So here we go. And I'm still blowing all the lines out with air because I've turned off the valve, not allowing any plumber's antifreeze to come up this way. And there's really nothing other than air just coming out of that right now. I'm gonna check the menu to make sure that the ice machine is on. And I'm just gonna leave it there. The compressor's turned off, it's pressurized. So it's gonna think it's gonna to try to make ice sooner or later. And um, that'll allow more of the, uh, the air to come through the ice part of the, or the ice maker part of the water system for the fridge. So one more thing that we have to do is in here, because I've just blown it out with air, there probably will be some plumber's antifreeze in here because it's all pressurized again. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this cup just under here and open up the valve a little bit and um, get some uh, of the plumber's antifreeze to make sure that it's all the way up to the valve here. So now you can see that it's uh, running pink here too, just to, to make sure that uh, we've got some pink antifreeze coming all the way down the lines here. And that looks really good. One of the last things I'll be doing is this is my uh, flush, black uh, tank flush, and I've got my hose now uh, connected to the drain. And of course the fridge is still connected and uh, pumping away there, getting the uh, water out of the ice system. So now we're gonna hook up the water and we're gonna flush the, the black tank. So now we're pumping water into our black tank and, and rinsing it. And I'll go over here to my electric valves in a second, and which is black tank. And um, I'll flip the switch. Opens up the tank. And it's draining all the way down there. And I'll flush this quite a few times. Make sure it's nice and clean. So a quick recap, we've winterized the hot water tank, we've winterized the plumbing inside the RV, we did the Splendetta washer dryer, and also the fridge. Now what I'll do is I'll separate the, the washer dryer and make that a standalone video. I will also then make a standalone video of the fridge. So this is me from a Canadian RVer. We hope you've enjoyed the video. We've tried to cover everything that we do. And uh, please subscribe, please give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video.